let's get into the uh, the recap here. Yeah. Um, the Virginia governor race was called for uh, the Republican Glenn Youkin. This is a big deal in Virginia because Virginia, they've been Huge. saying, has been going increasingly uh, blue. And the same thing, obviously, with New Jersey. But the interesting thing is some of the demographic shifts as to why mm -hmm. Youngkin won. And uh, it's, it's something that, look, I am going to issue some harsh criticism here to uh, the people who actually need to use Tampax in all ways. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm, not, uh, I'm not without empathy. Thank you. Um, <laughs> of course, when uh, the Republican won and it was called, the uh, leftist pundits were, uh, were not, oh. you know, it was like they stared at the Ark of the Covenant. And the exit poll showed that... that which was interesting that the coronavirus or that the virus it was a very it has low was not importance to many yes, of the voters which there. Was oh, it was oh, education, what a surprise. which is code for white parents don't like the idea of teaching right. about yes. race. Oh, white it's white continue voters calling them racist for Biden, forty nine percent for Trump. In this election, per the exit polls, they're going fifty seven forty three for McAuliffe. Hmm. That is not macro. That's issues with education being the number one thing on the minds of these voters. That means that Terry McAuliffe lost a very specific messaging war on race. First of all, it's not over. Um, you do have the, the grassroots uh, folks out there uh, fighting for this on the Democratic Party side. The stakes are high. Uh, when this election is over, Virginia, Packard? we will know. Have we seen the emergence of the Delta variant of Trumpism? <sighs> The Delta variant of Trumpism. In other words, Yunkin. So clever. Uh, same disease, <laughs> but spreads a lot faster. It can get a lot more places. He was sitting there writing it, and he was no. like Ralphie with his uh, writing his uh, paper, his term yeah. paper about wanting a red rider. He was like, Delta variant. Man, that's great. <laughs> I'm going to ask Wendy to go steady. I'm so smart. Aww. I love how she said education. Yeah. yeah I'm like, right. because only white parents. Which care is about code their for. Kids? No, yeah. it's not. Is that, it's is education. That we care about our kids. No, no, what no, no. Surprise. Please, please. Yeah. Let's let them continue. By all means, continue accusing the moms who are involved with their children's yeah. education right. of being racist. Yes. Right. That will sway them. This is important. Uh, Yunkin flipped Chesapeake, Montgomery, Norfolk counties from 2020. Now, keep in mind, this is not even wow. a midterm. Yeah. So here's what's interesting. There has been a change, notably. What killed Donald Trump? He made gains with black voters. He mm -hmm. made gains with Latino voters. Uh, he lost suburban white women. Yeah. So women, look, this is a step in the right direction. I will say this. A lot of conservative women out there, first, you need to, you need to clean ranks. You do, because a lot of these problems that you see that women are facing now come from feminism and come, and I'm going to do an extended segment on this. It also, this, this, this really, these tentacles go into their dating pool, they yeah. go into their yeah. home life, they go into women's sports now. This all comes from uh, leftist feminism, and guess what? The chickens have come home to roost. You have men in, biological men in women's sports because of women and feminism. You have radical agendas in school because of women and feminism. You have men who are playing the dating game and not marrying because of women and feminism. They've changed their expectations so much of what they want from men and what they want from society, and guys still want the same things that they wanted before the sexual revolution. To be clear, and this is a lot of women coming home to use the term here saying, oh, wow, yeah. I need to have some control over what happens with my children. That's why education is a big issue here. And it's not just critical race theory, which you say is imaginary, and these people are actually living and presenting receipts with the books and the curriculums. It's also their kids have been locked down indefinitely. Their kids have been yeah. forced to wear masks, which do not come uh, without their own consequences. And there are a lot of people who flipped because of that. This is overreach from the Democrats. So women out there uh, who are tired of it, please, men cannot, just like men cannot solve the problem of biological men beating the hell out of women in women's sports, because all men opposed it. Men in women's bathrooms, men opposed it. Men in women's sports, men opposed it. Women overwhelmingly supported it. And you said you have a penis, you can't have an opinion. So women out there, strong women, we need you now to use this momentum. Because women with uh, Donald Trump, for example, 38% is what he got. Mm. Youngkin got 47%. Hey, that's nice. Uh, white women with some college or less, Trump got 56%. Youngkin got 75%. That's a huge shift, yeah. Women with children, <laughs> Trump got 43%. Youngkin got 46%, which actually surprised me. Independent voters, Trump got 38%. Youngkin got 54%. That's, that's a big jump. That's a big jump. And I'm not saying that this means Youngkin is better than Donald Trump by any means. Um, what I am saying is there's been a shift with so much over... I don't think we've ever lived in a, in a time in the history of this country with more monumental 
life-altering changes in the past year, and most Americans don't like it, and they see where it's going. But by all means, please keep accusing these people who voted for your folks before of being racist. Yeah, Gerald. I think what they're seeing, too, is that Donald Trump may have been brash. He may have come across as kind of this caustic figure. Yeah. But he wasn't wrong. That's the thing. So yeah. somebody now is presenting the message in a way that you can actually tolerate. And you're seeing the decisions that he was trying to keep us from having to go towards, right? right. So he was trying to keep us from doing these things. You're seeing those decisions now have consequences. Yeah. That's Assu- what's happening right now. Uh, and assuming, of course, the most safe, secure election in history, that these like numbers safe, about yeah, Trump are pure, correct. Yes. I do think, it, it, to, to be fair, there was definitely some Trump fatigue, even, even from yeah. some Republicans. Yeah, yes. Yeah. And I think this shows you, because you know this is people said he was a Trumpist, this shows you that the ideas from Donald Trump, and if Donald Trump were to be more disciplined, that these ideas are way more popular now. Again, I've always said this about sort of Generation Z, and I was wrong, but um, (laughs) certainly you see it with a lot of other people. You know, look look at the baby boomers, and you see it even more with millennials now. They had, for example, Carter and Reagan. They had that contrast, and that's when you create a generation of conservatives. This is the, we didn't really have that contrast with George W. Bush, wasn't a conservative, was a big government sort of Republican. Barack Obama, right? Then you have, but then you have Donald Trump, in the pandemic, and you have former Vice President Joe Biden. There's a clear contrast now, and yeah. people are saying, this is the wrong direction. It's a repudiation of that. Um, this, and this is a big deal. Education, it's not a dog whistle. No. It's an actual, it's a thing. It's a thing that affects a lot of Americans. And uh, remember, th- this was where he lost the election. Remember when McAuliffe said parents shouldn't be able to have input or yeah. tell teachers what to teach? Here you go. And I'm not going to let parents come into schools bill. and actually you take books out and make their own decisions. You vetoed it. So, to yeah, I parents, you vetoed stopped it. the bill that I don't think parents should be telling schools what they should teach. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, Until first you off, see it. <laughs> even if you believe it, you don't say it that way. <laughs> That's Your a really children right, are really ours. Way. You, you, you know, you the fastest kids. way to piss off women, everyone here has a wife, yeah. Is tell her what to, she should do. Yeah, tell them, how to, <laughs> tell them how to be a mom. Right, yeah. Right, yeah. from a should, guy. Should, should, should. You do that, you should the bed. Okay, it doesn't work <laughs> with women. I learned that. I've even learned to avoid that word where I go, hey, baby, honey, sweetie, buttercup, baby. I say, it might be a better idea or it may be more helpful if not. Ah, <laughs> should have used the 409 on that toilet bowl. <laughs> Looks Should like a 60-minute special, babe. You know, I'm just saying. It's going to get you in trouble every time. So, um, well, I just, yeah, whatever. <laughs> you got nothing. 84% nonsense. of Virginians said that parents should have at least some input into what schools are teaching. And it's no surprise, obviously, that Yunkin made some gains in heavily suburban areas. I mean, this is yeah. the issue, right? Donald Trump made gains with black and Latino voters. Those gains seem to be holding steady. And now suburban Suburban, white suburban voters have returned to the Republican Party and now white suburban women, which is new. Mm. That is new. And that's a good thing. And so women, I'm going to ask you, please, women, just comment below. If you're, you know, we actually have a significant amount of women who watch this show. Yeah, I'm actually surprised when I go through the comments, there's a ton of them in there. You know, because generally speaking, women, if you look at demographics for any late night comedy shows, it's made up of largely young men. Yeah. Uh, so I, I want to know what you believe the solution is or what what you think women can do to continue this momentum. This is a big shift. Why did women part ways under the air of Trump and why are they coming back? I have a penis, so I can't have an opinion. Watch Louder with Crowder live Monday through Thursday, 10 a.m. Eastern.